Hello friends, welcome to PrepNet classes. In this lecture, we will study about women related reform movements. But before that, we will understand two main terms, empowerment and emancipation. Empowerment of women refers to giving rights to women equal to that of men. Emancipation of women refers to saving women from inhuman practices prevalent in the society such as sati system. Major social reformers and organizations who contributed in the improvement of status of women. Raja Ram Mohan Roy. He propagated the message for abolition of sati. On account of his efforts, British passed Bengal Sati Regulation Act in 1829. Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar. He propagated message of widow remarriage. On account of his efforts, Hindu Widow Remarriage Act was passed in 1856, which legalized widow remarriage. Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar also wrote a book titled Bahu Viva to promote his message. Keshab Chandra Sen. On account of his efforts, first time Anti-Child Marriage Act was passed. The act was revised number of times before independence. Finally, the act was revised in 1929 on account of the efforts of Harbilas Sarda. Thus, the Child Marriage Restraint Act was popularly called Sarda Act. He also published the first exclusive female magazine in India by name of Bama Bodhini Patrika. Pandita Rama Bai. She founded Shada Sadhan and Mukti Shada Sadhan. Shada Sadhan for the education and support of widows and other women. Mukti Shada Sadhan was started to provide shelter to child widows and destitute women. Kripa Sadhan was established for women involved in prostitution. She also founded Arya Mahila Samaj to promote women education and prevent child marriages. Dr. Muthu Lakshmi Reddy She was the first woman legislator of India. She was appointed to Madras Legislative Council in the year of 1927. Bills to abolish the Dasi system, immoral trafficking of girls, cruelty to children, raising the age of marriage, etc. were enacted into laws entirely due to her efforts. She started Home for Orphans at Chennai. Movement for Female Education There were three important movements for education of women. John Eliot Drinkwater Bethune, who was a pioneer of female education in India. He founded Hindu Balika Vidyalaya in Bengal in 1849, popularly known as Bethune School, located in Kolkata. It was established as a college in 1879. It is the oldest women's college in Asia. Dhondo Keshav Karve established first female university in India at Pune in 1916. Later on, university was shifted to Bombay as SNDT Indian Women's University. Arya Samaj established Arya Kanya Patshala in Jalandhar to promote education among females. Arya Kanya Patshala was converted into Kanya Mahavidyalaya to provide higher education to females. Now, let us revise what we have learnt. Raja Ram Mohan Roy propagated the message for abolition of Sati. Widow remarriage was legalized on account of efforts of Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar. Anti-Child Marriage Act was passed due to the efforts of Keshav Chandra Sen. Widow homes were founded by Pandita Ramabai. Dr. Muthu Lakshmi Reddy, first woman legislator, helped in abolishing Dev Dasi system. Hindu Balika Vidyalaya was founded by John Eliot Drinkwater Bethune at Kolkata. First female university in India was established by Dhondo Keshap Karve at Pune. Kanya Mahavidyalaya was established by R.A. Samaj. Now, let us evaluate ourselves. Question number one. An important landmark in the history of women's empowerment in Bengal was the passage of Bengal Anti-Sati Act. Who among the following was major reformer associated with this act? Raja Ram Mohan Roy, J.E.D. Bethun, Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar, Raja Bayatnath Roy. The correct answer is A. Question number two. Consider the following statements. Keshav Chandra Sen supported anti-child marriage, empowerment of women, caste system. Which of the statements given above are correct? Keshav Chandra Sen supported anti-child marriage and empowerment of women, but he opposed caste system. Hence, the correct answer is B. For best learning, you can watch this video along with PrepMates Engage UPSC series, which is available online as well as offline. Book features. Complete subject in a single book with practice and past year questions at the end of the chapters. Model answers for UPSC mains from authors. 
Using the application PrepMate and web portal PrepMate.in, you can access comprehensive digital support in form of videos, mock prelims, answer writing practice and regular updates.